All right, lovely. So this is Ariele from the Tree of Life Tarot. And I am in uh, Hugh Grovener's Akashic Records. Um, hmm. I, I will, mm, before I go into strictly uh, F gene uh, reading, I will look at. Um, HG and a let's say a new relationship. HG a new relationship. I'll just uh, start stacking the cards and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, because uh, hmm. so we have the page of pentacles. So start with this card. When it shows up in a, let's say, in a love reading, it tells me that this is something that, you know, one of the person, again, I'm not going to name who that, again, I do not know who that person is, and I'm not going to name it, but um, let's say his relationship, current or near future one. So when we have the page of pentacles coming up in a uh, love reading, especially especially in a reading where we don't um, we don't know what's the hidden part. So the hidden part here is that a relationship. Now the craving for a relationship is strong. It's viewed as something really really important to find the right person uh, and to let's say find your soulmate and again it's a craving and as with everything that we are attached to it can have the power of controlling us like for example if you're looking for or not looking for if you're hoping for the, the perfect relationship the, the relationship that is like in the movies you may end up with something that is always not quite right but instead if you go for good enough not that crappy maybe it could work you know something like yeah if it works out great if it doesn't i'm still okay then you don't have that attachment so we're we're having really strong attachment to happily ever after from one or both here from one of or both so basically this reading is for is either current or near future relationship because it does seem that there will be uh, uh, something I don't know how serious depends on the on free will on people but there will be something and also also uh, anyway I'll go I'll go I'll come back to it so let's see how he will see uh, how um, HG will see that person, that person that is here, that woman. Uh, the Six of uh, Swords, somebody who has gone through, um, let's say, hardship. She is leaving that hardship or difficult times behind and so uh, sailing to a new, a better future. Now, how she will see him is the moon. Uh, the moon is he will... So the moon is about deception, manipulation, as, yeah, okay. So she will wonder if he is what he says he is in his public image. She will wonder that. As physical attraction, both of those cars are not that, I would say, mm, primal attraction candidates. 
so what's what's going to what's going to actually connect them like in every relationship when you have somebody it's something that it clicks like it clicks the two of them together like a like a buckle um and what gets them clicked together is the page of cups reversed so they were both again that really ties to the page of pentacles and i'm gonna bring it here because these two cards are really significant so the page of cups is about you know uh, mm, that young naive love and it does not um it does not um uh, get um constrained by age you can always like meet someone and you're like oh my god could that be somebody special could that be somebody who's very important for my life could that be the love the you know the happily ever after you know boy meets girl and they fall in love that type of thing um and they seem to be both uh having experience with how this ends in the real life not in the movies and the sitcoms and so reverse that it's like they're both um not uh let's say not jumping into the deep without knowing how deep the water is anymore so there is a dose of realism in both of them they so what like um connects them uh is that you know I've, you know I've, I've done them uh, i've done that uh um let's say um naive childlike dreamlike hopeful um dream that yeah things look strange but what if it could work you know in the movies in the in the books you know in my fantasies it it could work and then it doesn't so they both have that type of experience where you know real life is a little bit more complicated than a um uh, than a TV show, um, but there still is that drive to okay. I'll be careful, but I still want that happily ever after. Now, again, so it's not going to be that like overly like physical from the first moment of attraction. How about? How about uh, them having um, like uh, similar views of the world or similar um, to, to be of the same mind? So he is going to look at her, at that lady, uh, with the eyes of uh, Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles is a really important card for relationships and for him especially. Should, neither one should give more than they receive. And that is really important. Like in any relationship, should not be giving more than you're receiving. Um, that it does not give to say that, okay... Um, um you should be a penny pinch or something like uh, like a stingy person or not stingy but like there has to be a balance like the person here i'm gonna go back the person here is giving uh is holding the the balance the the, the, the balancing and what that means is that um he's giving what that person needs and since this is pentacles pentacles is not only about money it's about um anything material including including um sex hugs um uh presence attention 
attention as well. Um, usually the imbal imbalance is one gives their uh, feelings, the, the other does not. That's what I've seen. Like, yeah, so he, he needs to be evaluated, he needs to keep himself in check about, uh, again, the give and take. Like in every relationship, there is an exchange of like energy, emotional energy, mental energy, um, physical energy through experiences. Uh, and giving and taking has to be a balance and he needs to put himself a check. So with this lady, he see, it seems like this is what is going to be like a, attracting, um, attracting factor. Uh, for her, uh, and this uh, is going to be what attracts her like mentally, spiritually, physically uh, to him is the ten of uh, ten of wands reverse so the ten of wands is hardship like things are really difficult reverse that things are not difficult like maybe and i'm like and i'm speculating here because it's not in the card so maybe he could be like a good conversationalist a uh, good company could be uh not a, I don't know, like nagging, jealous type of boyfriend that is going to, um, uh, let's say, tap your phone and, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and record every, every um, uh, conversation you have or something like that. I think he's, there is some, usually, that's, that's weird. Uh, usually it's what they, they call women this, that um, women could be like, um, uh, ca not carefree, but, you know, easy to be around or nice and pleasant to be around. It's not what usually people talk, uh, like describe men, but that's what she will see in him. He will be like really pleasant company. Yeah. Um, now what is going to be, um, like an obstacle, what is going to be keeping them apart? Well, uh, phew, the hanged man reversed, I would say nothing really. So there will be some constraints. I believe they will come from outside, not from inside, like something between of them. Um, but let's say hanged man looks like that. We have literally a man with tight hands on his back, one foot hanged. Like he can't really do much. Like he's he's stuck on that tree. Yeah. Uh, but when you reverse that, you know that person is stepping on. His, you know his. He, he sees the ground. He still. He's still uh, like confined to something. He still has some something like like restrictions of some sort, um, but it's it's no longer there. So this, I don't see really uh, something that could be really keeping them apart. Um, let's see. What could be what could be the the troubles in that um, again current or near future relationship um, before I go to these cards I, I'm going to go back to the the six of Pentacles one more time because I do have the uh, things have to be uh, the you know the message that things have to be just um, and even though we we want to believe that we live in a just world and uh, karma is like working, although it does, um, it, things don't happen the way we see just. Uh, we, things happen with um, within the I would say. It's difficult to explain. Divine justice is different. Okay, like for example, if you have somebody that you need to, let's say, 
deal with and you with your like human mind decide that this is the way to go this is how you need to do it always always ask for divine help when it comes to bringing justice because what it may you may not know is that with just like a touch of a hand with something that you don't even know how it happened things are going to go in a completely different direction and yet they will be just so this is how we are going you know segueing from the six of uh, pentacles to uh to the to the nine of wands reversed so he is expecting um and i don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing but he's expecting so the the nine of wands um is about waiting just waiting you have one uh one wand and you're looking at the other and you're just you know you're just waiting you're not doing anything um what's HG is expecting that lady to do is for her to um, I don't know but to be more um, I'm, I'm just gonna say what really comes to mind to contact him uh, to know is it to um, maybe to make a move or to be more uh to yeah to not be afraid to um uh, not to reach out but to not be afraid to be more i would say mm, active yeah uh that lady on the other hand he just you know She's not having it. She's not going to go after him. She, she, he hopes that they, you know, they can, you know, connect. Um, we're also having some like I don't know. It, it's um, th this is usually so. The two of cups is usually um a really nice card when it comes to emotions being connected to somebody um but in this case i'm really getting the the different different type of um a different type of message and i know why because again this is a love reading so for this lady uh it has something to do with um um A fear that reaching out could come to um, too much emotions yeah but is there some, some something like that that's called too much emotions uh, she she de so hmm, they both of them expect the other one to do something um, but it's um she does want him to reach out that's the thing the first thing and the other one there is a fear that they um, that should something go wrong she her let's say her heart will not take it maybe not literally but still you know she will she could be hurt Okay, so let's go to here. So the dynamic of the relationship is very strange. So we have the two of swords. A choice has to be made about... Okay, I was gonna say something. A choice has to be made 
Mm. It's not a relationship choice, it's a business choice. It's something with, to do with work. And we have the Queen of Wands here. We have a, a sad queen, sad queen looking at the future. What is she looking at? What is she looking at? Okay, so we have a sad queen that is looking at her, at, at, at the page again. That page, especially since the last reading, is representing HG. But HG is not, it's not part of that dynamic. So that I do not know what. So basically, the queen, her, the queen of wands. I don't know if it's the same queen that was the queen before, but that was showing before in the in his readings. But she does need to make a decision, and really, the business decision is between like work, career, and uh, and her guy. That's the decision that she needs to make somehow. I don't know how much is this like a relationship dynamic, but it seems like I would I would have guessed that it's the opposite that he HG is the one that is um, super busy and uh, unable to find time and and pull you know all kinds of directions. Um, but it seems that the this lady, the lady that we are reading on today, is um, is the one that is um, distracted by something else. So when it comes to relationship, that I think now I know what it means. It when it comes to the relationship dynamic, she, she could choose him over her business that could be it all right i think that was an interesting reading talk to you in the next video bye